Hi guys, Jonathan Chown here with J-Chown Golf at Crondon Park Golf Club in Essex. And what we're talking about today, we're talking about a way to easily, effortlessly create power in your golf swing. Now this is a thing we see a lot of guys from, let's say back in the era of the Nicholas, the move they really did, because they hit the ball miles for the clubs and golf balls. They hit, Nicholas was, you know, hitting it over 300 yards with that equipment they had back then. All these players back then, Nicholas, Snee, Palmer, they all had this move in there and they all crushed the ball. We even see this with golfers now a little bit more modern. So we're talking about a Matt Wolf, we're talking about Bryson DeChambeau, it's the ball furthest at the moment. Even you guys who have gained a lot of distance, so your short hitters have gotten longer, let's say Francesco Molinari does and put this one move into his golf swing. So let's get into that, but before we do, please make sure you subscribe to my channel here. We really put out a lot of content in the week, a lot of instructional videos that are designed to help your game in a nice, simple, easy to understand manner. So as well, if there's anything you guys want me to cover, put down in the comments below a topic that you really need help with. And who knows, I might pick that and that might be a future video coming forward. So what is this move that we're going to talk about to create effortless power in the golf swing? Now, really, this was a really good thing with one of my lessons the other day. One of my students, Darren. Darren, he's got a lot of potential of club head speed, but doesn't really hit at the ball as far as he should do. And that's for, for a lot of golfers out there, out there, we just don't hit the ball as far as we should do. But what we saw with Darren, we saw as he was getting up to the top of his backswing, he was getting a decent amount of turn with his upper body, more so than I probably can but his lower body was pretty much static. He really didn't do much with his lower body at all. So that really caused him to not hit the ball as far as he could. He was wasting a little bit of potential power. So what we did for him, we needed to free up lower body movement. So what we did, we made sure we wanted to get this lower body turning. Because we know if we can turn with that lower body, we're gonna naturally get more turn of our shoulders as well. It's an easy way to get more turn in your shoulders. Now, we found quite a nice easy way of doing this, and this is really emulating golfers from back in the day, Nicholas, definitely. As I'm turning in my backswing, this is what we got with Darren. We were turning in his backswing, and we were lifting up that left heel. Because as soon as we left, lifted up that left heel, we could get a lot more range of motion. We have, weren't having that standard resistance type of that lower body. We were letting that left heel lift up like your Nicholas, really getting it up there. And the amazing thing, as soon as we did that with him straight away, it was amazing, 20 more yards instantly. It was very ridiculous how much further he was hitting the ball and straighter as well. This has other benefits that we'll get into as well in the golf swing of doing this. So we were just making sure we weren't resisting that lower body. We were making sure we we're having movement, especially lifting that left heel because what that does that gets your weight more into your right side and makes you load into that backside so then you can fire through now obviously it gains you more turn in the backswing if i really get there and i lift that left heel a little bit it's going to give me way more range of motion to where if i just did this with my upper body it's about as much as i can physically do but then when i lift that left heel I can get way more turn and I can still stay quite centered over on top of my center doing that as well. So we know that it's going to increase turn, but what else is it going to do? What we really saw with Darren, which was awesome. As soon as we got up and we got that more turn by lifting that left heel, we immediately got more hip turn doing it and we stayed on our nice center as well. What we saw then because of the reaction of this left heel lifting up, he immediately instinctually slammed that foot down into the ground and he almost had like a mini squat. Didn't even think about it at all. This has just happened naturally. And then coming into impact, he almost really, he like spiked up and out of the ground and really jumped up. This is again, this is what we see with guys like Bryson at the moment, Bryson Shambo, he really does this. But this happens naturally once we lift up that left heel because we're gonna go back into that ground and the ground going through the ball is gonna push us back up again, really spiking that energy through there and creating effortless club head speed. We're not trying to do this. We're not swinging any faster. We're just using the ground a little bit better from this one thing, lifting that lead heel there. Because as soon as we go back down, we are gonna have a mini squat in there. And then we're gonna be almost jumping back up through the ball naturally, which is just gonna ramp up club head speed. So it's gonna be an absolute awesome one for there for generating that power. Things that happens naturally, and everyone wants to hit the ball further by doing less. 
less effort. We're not really trying to do this. Our body's going to do it naturally. So we can see a good couple of reasons why this move is going to be awesome for generating more club head speed. It's going to be really, really good. I know I'm going to get more turn, but we're going to be using our lower body better in the downswing too. So what's another way that we can see this benefit us? And it can actually, for a lot of you guys, especially that missed the ball out to right, just like Darren, or pull it as well. So your out to wind path is gonna help you massively with this. Because when we get more hip rotation and general rotation in the backswing, we end up getting more depth to the hands at the top of the backswing. Now, this is a really important thing. There's a video there I'll put a card to of a video I've done where it really, a couple tips to help you hit that driver straighter. And this is one of them. When we're getting that more turn at the top of the backswing and having that aided by lifting that left heel a little bit, that gets us deeper at the top of the backswing. That gets us more depth to the top there. So really why that's good, because then when I turn down naturally, that club's gonna fall on plane better. If we did a backswing where we were restricting our lower body and going very high with our club because we're restricting our turn, when we turn, we're naturally gonna be swinging a little bit over the top in our downswing because of that. So you can see here how lifting that left heel has got, one, it makes you hit the ball further. And if you're a slice with the golf ball, it'll make you hit the ball straighter as well. So who won't want to do that? So let me get a drive here, really making sure all I'm going to do, I'm going to call up to the top of my backswing and I'm going to lift that left heel a little bit. So that's really what I want you guys to feel. As soon as you're turning up there, you're getting up to, let's say, left arm parallel, just getting up. That's when I want that heel to lift up, giving you that extra little bit of turning in. You're going to really be able to spike that energy through the ground and be able to explosively move back up. So lifting that left heel when I'm just about to complete my backswing. Yeah, ain't that good? It's gone miles. So what we can see there, especially if you're someone out there who lacks flexibility, lacks range of motion, get that left heel lifting up. It's going to give you way more turn and if you struggle with slicing the ball as well it's going to be huge to straighten up your shots one move out there that for most golfers can make you hit it longer and straighter there's not really much out there that can do that golf wise so that's really one that for most people it's going to make a world of difference an absolute world of difference it's like i saw with my student darren he was absolutely crushing the ball he was carrying the driving range completely with his driver pretty much he was absolutely killing it and hitting God, even his rescue that he was hitting was carrying a good 250 with a range ball. So that would have gone another, you know, 25 yards. Normally absolutely massive distance for increase there. So if you guys are really wanting to gain that power, think of your guys like your Nicholas. So back in the day, or you can be thinking of, you know, like a Matt Wolf, Bryson DeChambeau, how they're lifting up that left heel just to gain you that little bit more range of motion. And then it will get you to use that ground a little bit better in a downswing. So guys, if you found that video useful, please press a like it. I really would appreciate it if you smash that like and please subscribe and hit that bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video because we're putting up a good amount of videos each week. So we're always going to be up to date with your instruction. They're nice, simple, easy to follow golf instruction. And again, just like I said before, if you've got any topics that you want me to cover, comment down below. Just put down whatever you want to have help with. And who knows, there might be a video coming on that same topic very soon. So guys, get that left foot, really get that heel lifting up. And you're going to see that ball go further and probably straighter too.